Hey guys, got myself a glass of sweet tea here, which I don't know, maybe it'll be keeping me up. Tea doesn't usually bother me at night, only coffee. Uh, anyway, I have decided that if I'm going to be drinking like straight sugar, that it's better to drink the sugar you know, right? Um, and so I'm making my own sweet tea. It's two whole cups of sugar per gallon and it is delicious. So the, today, hi, welcome back to Ganty Plans. Today we're doing a weekly plan with new video. Um, and it is like the very last thing on Sunday night, Mother's Day, and I had a really lovely day. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty relaxed, laid back kind of stroll through my week and actually some upcoming weeks. So today would be a good video to go uh, grab your own planner, get some stuff done. Uh, maybe, you know, put me out in the background while you're cleaning the house or whatever. I, uh, I always like that strategy, right? If you like binge somebody's videos while you're getting something done, uh, make it something productive because then every time you hear that person's voice again, you're going to want to do the thing. <laughs> um, that happened to me with Carrie Harling and World of Warcraft, so it can be used for evil. Uh, anyway, the point <laughs> here is yeah, a weekly play with me video. I do one of these every month. And as I mentioned two weeks ago in my monthly plan with me for May 2021, hello, is this is my weekly setup. Um, instead of doing like a weekly spread, which I have like two, only two, three, I don't know, anyway, in my shop. But this is a sort of a weekly to-do list with dailies. Um, so I have been enjoying that. I've been enjoying the whole time ladder concept. So... What I've got is this fold out. This is a pretty new insert, insert 37 in the shop. Um, it's just a fold out list. And so here on the grid section, I've got, there's room for all kinds of stuff and I'll probably, I feel like I have more intense weekend plans coming up. So I might be using it for some additional things, but basically I had my content schedule here and then a to-do list here. There's a lot of things here that didn't get checked off. Some of them, I guess didn't need to. Others just didn't physically get checked off. But uh, yeah, so some of these are going to get migrated over. And then so I've got daily uh, insert number 22 for most of my days. And I've been using these. Well, I'll show you. These stickers are from 2016. Um, and it's been working out okay for me. Uh, we got our shot on Thursday and then on Friday this happened because I got kicked down by the side effects. <laughs> um, and then this weekend I haven't really pulled out this at all. So I can tell you like I did the stuff. Actually, no, we decided not to go swimming because we thought it would be cold, but it wasn't cold. I got that done. Um, and I, sh I was going to do some sort of like lettering or something there. Is it, t it's like, is it too late to do weekend planning? at, you know, whatever p.m. on a Sunday night. Um, like, I don't know. I'll put lunch, because it was technically lunch, even though it's the kind of party that turns from a lunch party into a eat the lunch leftovers for dinner before you go home kind of party. And then um, I'm going to put here, because we did this too. I got a compost tumbler for Mother's Day and I'm very excited about it. So in theory, this should have been out like I was doing stuff over the weekend and I should have been, you know, jotting down notes for next week in this box here. So this I didn't even say this is the um, weekly or sorry, weekend uh, daily weekend daily to do or spread, you know, so it's like a daily, but it's for two days and I cut it off so that you don't have like the indication of what the insert number is is on the left so I don't have that side but it also is fairly recent it's in the 30s anyway so I have that whole setup for the next several weeks and this has been or this is going to be a crazy next bit because we had like no zero weekend plans for an entire year and now uh we are have weekend plans until June 19th and then that's two weeks that are, are currently unscheduled or is it two weekend two weeks or two weekends anyway and then we have our daughter's birthday uh she got a zoom party last year and i would kind of like to have some friends over 
for her to play with this year because like people are getting vaxxed so anyway the point I was gonna actually I think fill out some dates and things for events because there's just a lot and um this week is actually going to be an exciting one to see planned out because it's different than my usual weeks um so I'm just gonna start by turning on a little bit of music and just adding dates to the next few weeks like I don't usually plan my weeklies or <laughs> much less my dailies this far in advance, but there's definitely stuff that I know is happening and I think it's just gonna kind of give me a good feel for it. So um, let's just do that. <laughs> So as always, things kind of felt uh, a little bit less overwhelming as soon as I wrote them down. So I'm, hopefully that means that I'm not forgetting things. But basically we have weekend plans from now. I already said that. Um, a lot of stuff. So uh, this week, basically the plan is to prepare uh, everything because it's a short work week, which just kind of makes everything feel shorter. Um, it's our anniversary. We are, we as a, a couple are turning five years married, um, on Friday. And so we are getting a hotel room. We're going to enjoy ourselves, We're taking the girls to a thing in the morning and then, um, leaving them with the grandparents overnight. And so I have to be ready for that. You know, like I have to get them packed. I have to get us packed. It's a lot of that, you know, emotional labor stuff. And then I'm also planning ahead for the next weeks because I also have like a week that I'm taking off and visiting my parents coming up and I'm very excited about that. Um, but it also means like I have to prepare for it, packing lists and also like plans so that we're not just sitting around at my parents' house all day while they're at work for an entire week because that's not exactly what a child would probably think of as a vacation. So um, anyway, it's time to actually do a little bit of decorating because it's kind of weird and barren in here without any dates. Um, let's go ahead. I already have some pre-sliced washi tape from last week. I have shown this in a couple of recent videos, the way I slice my washi tape to make it fit nicely. And we'll just go ahead and I think I'll just do the exact same headers because, you know, it's already sliced. It's ready to go. Um, and that way I don't have to do more. So this little break is uh, admittedly a little bit ridiculous, but I kind of like the way it looks. So um, this is everything is exactly the same as last week as, so far as far as decoration. And I mentioned that these stickers were from Twin 16 uh, because I haven't used them in a little bit. I've been using the uh, other ones. What am I saying? The date stickers from Planner Kate instead. Um, which fits so nicely in these circles, by the way, but that's not the point. Let's just date these on up. Already forgetting what date it is, which usually means it's been just a nice relaxing weekend, which is the case. Uh, I was trying to remember if today was an even or odd day, because I want to start trying to turn my compost tumbler on even days. So that I uh, don't do it too often, too infrequently whatever I don't really make garden content anymore now that I have stopped making Sunday videos I'm trying to be a lot more targeted with my focus but do feel free to comment below if you like love my old stuff and would like me to do more um, off topic less plenary stuff um, I could always do some of that also on like insta stories or uh, what's the long form video over on Instagram? I can do that maybe. I really don't want to have to learn how to do Instagram though because this just sounds like a lot of work. Learn an entire new platform. I've decided I'm old. The last slang term I learned was slaps. And I'm done. I don't, I don't need to learn anymore.
Am I the only one who puts their date stickers on sideways? I feel like I get a better... <laughs> I was going to say, they're, they're better aligned. And then I noticed that this Sunday one is so ridiculously crooked. One benefit to putting stickers on top of washi tape is even immovable, or whatever it's called, permanent stickers, um, come up pretty nice off washi tape. So these are going to get tucked back in my pocket for future use. And... And it's sort of, eh, sort of decorate. I've just been, uh, as far as decoration goes, just like filling in the some of the boxes and the time ladders and stuff. Um, the nice thing about this hodgepodge of a color scheme for the month is that I've got four different highlighters that I've picked out to use. And so I'm just gonna keep using the same ones because like I feel like I didn't get the full. I don't know. I, I made use of my planner a lot on Monday, and that probably has happened to, I know it's happened to me before, it's probably happened to you too, that your Monday is like super used, and then Friday for me was literally blank, but that was for reasons, um, as I already showed you, I, I was like, the whole fever chills thing, muscle aches, exhaustion, and I went to work. Um, because I just didn't want to have to deal with, like, taking a sick day. And honestly, Friday's the day that, um, our kids are at our house with their grandpa. Their Lolo. Um, and he watches them here while we go to work. Uh, which is great, because then we don't have to, like, drive them anywhere. But I knew that if I were at home, that they would know I was there. And they would keep bugging me, and I wouldn't be able to rest anyway. So I figured I'd just go and get at least psychological rest um, <laughs> at work and I just tried to give myself a lot of leeway and grace and fortunately it was not a busy day for my co-worker who actually volunteered very sweetly to help take on some of the extra things that suddenly popped up on my plate and it was not too bad of an end of the week fortunately but let's see I'm just I don't know I don't know if anyone else who uses my inserts finds these little boxes that I make kind of ridiculous, but like the idea is you can give it a header. I don't always though, and sometimes it's just sort of to highlight the fact that the box is there. Um, and yeah, so sometimes I put like my dinner, sometimes I put my dinner there and I don't even write the word dinner. And I'm just realizing that I haven't really sat down to plan out my meals for the week. So I guess we're going to figure that out. Um, I will, f I will worry about that tomorrow. Uh, it might be, it might be quiche, quiche because my spinach was bolting and so I have spinach. Um, that it may or may not be any good, but it will be fine in a quiche. No one will care. Definitely won't care. That's all weird and yellow and splotchy, but it'll taste fine enough. Um, all right. So what was I saying? To Friday is our anniversary, which I'm just going to put, um, here. This box I've been using as sort of a, uh, highlight for the day kind of a thing. Um, partially because I, um, I always forget what to put. Like I go back and I have to like backfill um, two weeks at a time of day, a line of day journal. And, um, it's, it's difficult because I don't pay attention. And the only thing that gets got marked down on my planner is either like the plans that I made, but didn't do, but checked off the next day anyway. And so I get credit for them in my planner because I forgot or dinner. Cause like I did plan the meals or <laughs> something like that. I'll, I'll go through, like, sometimes there's photos or text messages that give me a, a hint. You, I, you would think that I would be more organized, but just because I have a planner YouTube channel doesn't mean that I actually know what's going on in my own life. Um, I almost forgot an entire doctor's appointment. Like, that's not the sort of thing that should happen. Anyway, uh, this doesn't get anything on the time ladder, but... And the other thing, too, is, like, my hours keep being weird, um, for like, I don't know, I kind of like it when my hours are weird. It's a good thing, but <laughs> it usually means I'm getting like an extra hour off or something. 
can't I guess we had a good quarter and I was like the only person left in the office anyway that day for some reason someone was sick and someone else was just on vacation and I got let off at two and had already highlighted my time ladder I'm trying to remember where I learned the term time ladder do you use the word time ladder or do you just say like timeline or hourly planning or, or what do you call this? I've heard the term time ladder and so that's what I use and I don't know why. I guess it has rungs technically. I guess these are the rungs. Uh, but there you go. I have been liking the hourly planning. It kind of gives me a sort of just sort of an overview of my day at a glance. Um, I've just been marking like my work hours because you, you know you got to do something and then I was also marking off like when I was waking up because um, why not I guess when you're yeah when you're feeling motivated you have to find reasons like extra silly reasons to write stuff in your planner so I'm gonna just at least go and oof, gotta actually do something on the side uh, eh I'm gonna use just this uh like kind of craft colored one because it's already split down the middle. Uh, last week I used the kind of color coordinating one washi tape, but whatever. Just want a header. And if you were not here for decoration, actually, that would be fine too. I feel like if I were going for a no frills, no decoration, like I wouldn't have all of these dailies. The idea of the dailies, it kind of simplifies the decorating and it makes it just like easier for me to just add a, that pop of color because like it's the same pop of color every single day. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward and streamlined. Uh, let me just quickly grab, oh no, I have some in the back here. Some sort of Lettery, heady, here they are, the Sweet Tea Sticker Co. ones this week. Here we go. Because that is precisely as vague as this list needs to be. Um, then this one here doesn't just use like a highlighter. I did I did use a highlighter last week didn't I because it's not super visible all the time I don't know if I actually mentioned yet in this video but the point of the fold out is so that I can look at my daily and then also see my to-do list um, there you go sorry it's the way that this tripod I've been using is uh, a very tight angle on this someone asked me once upon a time to zoom out because with the pocket planner um, you kind of can't tell how small it is. Maybe you think that I just have giant hands, but it's a very small planner. Um, here, look, there's literally a ruler. You can see it's four and three quarter inches. Um, I'll put my content here again and then just check things off. Cause like, I definitely want to make sure at least that I get everything done by the end of the week. Like for example, this filming this by the end of this previous week because literally I have to plan out my week anyway. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit ahead because as I've mentioned at least twice already, I have a lot of weekend plans coming up. Um, I'm, I was going to say that I was just going to transfer these to-dos here and elsewhere, I think. Because this is... Actually, you know what? No. Important means a project, which... Um, let me see. My mom watches my videos and it has to do with her Mother's Day gift. And so I'm just going to blank out for a second. Just a sec. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, I actually transferred a couple of things and there's besides just that, it's also any plans for that are like important for this week. And honestly, they probably should be where I can see them. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully I'll like, they're the things that uh, are less actionable and more like the tasks go where they go. We'll see. This might be a terrible idea, but the point is I do at least have this. Um, and I already put one task on here um, because it was like part of a project from here. Um, and so I'm going to do the same thing. These are plans for two weeks from now. 
um, I just need to kind of like, yeah, decide <laughs> a list of, okay, vacation ideas, I'll say. I need, I need ideas for what to do at the tail, of tail end of a pandemic with two under three um, uh, out of town in a city I like know, but also like I was a very boring high schooler. Uh, and never had like my own kids around then it's I think we're just gonna visit all of the playgrounds because that's like what I do with my kids anyway I need to decide what we're or get ideas of what we're gonna do to spend our days um, because I'm definitely looking forward to it but also like just in case it I start getting stir crazy and if we're just relaxing all day honestly my toddler is probably just gonna have fun playing with the toys that my parents have and my baby will probably just have fun crawling around and exploring their floors so I probably won't even need a list of parks to visit um, and I do need to <laughs> um, let's see yeah it's basically oh yeah fine. I need to find a pack and play to buy to live at their house um, and then I think that's the big thing. I won't worry about the packing list there. Well, maybe I will, incidentally, while making a packing list for this week. Um, but I think that's it for that project of a thing. But I also need to decide what I'm getting my husband for his birthday because that happens even sooner. So basically, my entire month, months, two months now, are... Um, just planning for the weekend. I'm, I'm living for the weekends. Uh, I probably had room for an apostrophe S there. And I probably didn't need an S there either. Now, since my planning is not doing video, I have not actually made a lot of progress on make, like figuring out how to move things from a weekly to-do list to a daily got-it-done uh, status, but at least the looming fact that like weekend plans are happening, whether I pack on Monday or on Saturday morning, um, like hopefully that'll help. Also, the fact that I'm really looking forward to all of these weekend plans. And I believe that's the fifth time I've said the word weekend plans. Um, some, so sometime this week, and I honestly don't even remember when, is Twitch. I have to re-up a manual subscription. Then the 15th is when I do my monthly sort of maintenance tasks. And then Sunday is our eight, oh, I almost wrote seven, eight month photo. Our little girl is getting so big, so fast. And like eight months honestly feels young because she is pulling to stand. She's like on the verge of cruising. Um, and yeah, her big sister didn't start crawling until nine months, so I'm not ready for this. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know. I always have more plans like the day of. I sit down with my planner like in the morning um, or, you know, before lunch because like I like to make plans of the things that I need to get done on my lunch break because I get to go home for my lunch break. I almost never like spend it eating. Sometimes I, I will usually like, grab food and then eat it back at my desk so that I can spend my whole lunch break doing house things, which generally I just am called. I, I go out to my garden. I'm just going to like feel my compost or something. It's, it's weird guys, but I really love my garden, but I'm not a gardening channel. Um, I post videos every Thursday. So if you are not already 
and you watch this whole thing, like kindred spirits, please subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Um, until then, have a great week. Bye. Thank you.